we got a hundred dollars in nickels. Looks like we're mostly they're mostly hand rolled, except for these two machine rolled uh, nickels. So yeah, hundred dollars. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. We got six rolls left. Just cracked open this roll. Um, it's a lot easier for me to uh, crack them on the side of my table than for me to open up each individual end. Although I do keep uh, the uh, coin tainer wrappers. But yeah, here we go. We got our first silver nickel. Denver Mint, 1945. All right, we got some silver. And I don't think we have anything else. Awesome. We'll keep going. Hi, this is Ryan. We'll set up here with the uncirculated. Uh, so we have a 2011D, 2000, 2000, 1981, 1963 and 1987 toned. I'm probably gonna throw that back. Actually, it looks better than it looks on camera. Oh, let me see if I can dim it down. Yeah, it's kind of like a golden color. Um, I got a 2009 Denver, and these two nickels are stuck together. I'm probably gonna have to keep them, or if I can find a way to separate them. I'd probably have to do that. We got two Canadians. Um, they were actually in the uh, something to last roll, very um, towards the end. Both of them are in the same roll, 2015 and 2009. And for the old Jeffersons, we got a 1959 Denver, 256 Denvers, 56 plain, 55 Denver, 52 plain, 49 Denver, 46 Denver, 46 plain, 40 Denver, and 40 plain. And then we got one silver. 1945 Denver awesome we could find a silver um, especially so close to the end I was not expecting to find one because uh, I don't know I just wasn't really expecting to find one but I usually find one in every um, hundred dollars or so in nickels so yeah if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time goodbye